Hey there, Westchester University alumni. My name is Justin Sachoka, and welcome in to Ramblings Live. Happy to have you back here yet again. Now, this is the first time this year that we get to hang out, so I hope that 2021 has been treating you well. If you're not sure as to what Ramblings Live is, let me tell you all about it. This is a platform where we get to connect with people from Westchester University, whether that's faculty or staff, a lot of different alumni join us on here and we catch up and see where everybody is and what everybody is up to. And today, we've got a pretty cool guest who graduated from Westchester University in 2012 and now plays baseball professionally. Now you may know that I was on here earlier with uh, all of the, the coaches from the Westchester University athletics team. Uh, despite having the athletic sweatshirt, I am Westchester University's least athletic alumni. So we're going to bring in one of the most. Please welcome into Ramblings Live, uh, Joey Wendell, who's joining us, and also second baseman down in Tampa Bay. Joey, thanks so much for uh, joining us. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. I, I, I've got to say, you're the, the first professional athlete that I've had the, the pleasure of being able to, to interview. So thanks so much for, for joining on and hanging out with us tonight and coming back to Westchester virtually with us. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, Joey, where are you uh, at? Where are you joining us from? Uh, I'm in uh, I'm in Kenneth School. Um, so only about twenty uh, from Westchester University. This is where uh, this is where my family lives. My wife and two boys. Uh, we moved here a couple of years, ago, and uh, we're enjoying it. A little a uh, little chilly out today, but uh, you know we, we love the area. This is um, you know I grew up, so it's uh, it's a great spot. So I'm gonna jump ahead real quick and show this family photo here because I think this is this is awesome. So this is your wife and your two boys. Um, and what? how long ago was this? Was this last year? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the uh, when we won uh, the AL pennant. So pretty cool there. That was uh, after game seven against the Astros. Um, you know, last year was unique in that uh, my wife and kids, they weren't really allowed to come to the games until the playoffs. So um, that was fun to be able to do that as a family. That was one of the few uh, experiences that we were able to have as a family that year. So um, for them to, to be able to, uh, to kind of share that with me was, was pretty special. That's why I wanted to, uh, to include that picture there. It's an awesome picture. You want to go through and introduce everybody there? Who's who? Uh, yeah, so my wife is Lindsay. Um, and then my oldest son uh, is, uh, is Jack. He's two and a half. And then uh, the little fella is Luke. He'll be... They'll be one in uh, in a couple weeks now. So they're, uh, they've both grown up a little bit since that picture even. And I don't know if you can hear them, in the room, but one of them is screaming right now. So I, I do apologize if you if you hear that. Usually it doesn't last too long. But. No no need to apologize whatsoever. So a one-and-a-half-year-old and a, a, a two-and-a-half-year-old? Uh, two two-and-a-half, almost one, yeah. And almost one, two-and-a-half, almost one, and playing professional baseball. That's That's quite a bit. Yeah, well – my wife's pretty amazing. She can, um, she, she, she does, uh, an amazing job with the kids and I feel like most of, uh, most of that falls on her during the season. So I'm trying to make up for a little bit during the off season. There you go. Well, let's start off with where it is that you're from and, and how it is that you ended up at Westchester university. I know that you just said that you're, you're from, you're living in Kennesquare now, but you're, you're local. Where, what town are you from? Is it Kennesquare? Um, so I went to Avon Grove High School. Uh, I grew up in Lincoln University, um, which is, you know, only another 20 minutes from here, about 35, 40 from Westchester University. Um, yeah, I mean, I grew up there my whole life. Um, thankfully, now my family is local, so I get to see them as well. We, um, you know, I love the area. I mean, there's a reason that I've, I've played in, you know, a dozen different cities for baseball, and we're back here. Um, I, like, enjoy being close enjoy being close to to friends and then you know we really do we really enjoy, enjoy this uh this area uh, in chester county so that's why that's why we're back here well what what brought you to westchester university i know that you're you're local to the area did you always grow up knowing about westchester was it the place that you wanted to go to were you playing baseball in high school and, and that's what led that uh that path over to westchester um, yeah, I mean, you know, you're always familiar with, with Westchester, the area. Uh, I mean, I grew up playing against, you know, Henderson, Rustin and Westchester East. So I was certainly familiar with the area. Um, I don't know that, that Westchester university was really, um, a target of mine when I was in high school and still, until I actually started seeking out colleges. Um, I knew 
that I wanted to play baseball. Um, I had had two older brothers that had actually played Division One baseball. Uh, one played at uh, Villanova University and the other one at St. Joe's. So they were able to stay local and play Division One. And um, if you would have asked me, you know, as a freshman or a sophomore in high school, I probably would have wanted to follow in their footsteps. Um, but I think um, just kind of being the youngest and being able to kind of look at, at the careers that they had in baseball and also, you know, academically what what they experienced. Um, both great schools, both uh, had good experiences in baseball. But uh, I, I knew uh, that in Westchester, I was going to be um, going to get the opportunity baseball wise to compete for a national championship. Um, and that was certainly something that, you know, both of my brothers couldn't say at the, at the programs that they were in. So um, I think that and, um, you know, once I really started to look at the university and kind of uh, for the first time was able to look through it um, through my prospective student glasses, I, I guess you could say, I, you know, I, I really saw that. Um, you know, not only does the town have a lot to offer, but also for the university. I mean, there's really not a major that you could that you could want to be and not have it fulfilled in Westchester. So I went in as uh, undecided as a freshman and, uh, you know, I, I made a, uh, a major choice later on in my career. But, I, you know, I knew that it was a good university and I feel like it was a really good fit for for the baseball program as well. <clears throat> Basically worked out for you, which is which is fantastic. And uh, Garrick is actually on us right with us right now with Facebook Live, saying making WCU proud, wishing you all of the best. And anyone else that is uh, watching us live right now, feel free to comment and say hi to Joey. Uh, everybody that comments is going to be entered to win some Westchester University swag. So we're going to randomly pick uh, someone from there and send it your way. So make sure that you comment and say hello. I want to talk about your your siblings though. What is it? Two brothers? Your it's one of it's three boys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I have two older brothers. Two older brothers, both involved in baseball. Uh, you know, growing up, what was what was that like to have them as? Is, were they the guys that you would look up to, and and were they you tried to? Were you competitive? I guess is the main question. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how I would answer that question. It was competitive. Um, they were three and five years older than me, so I don't know how competitive it ever really was. Maybe until I got a little bit older. Um, it generally, okay. you know, me getting pegged. Uh, in the front yard with tennis balls that we were playing. Um, but yeah, I mean, they were, you know, two of my, two of my best friends growing up and, um, you know, we, we still like the three are, are just as could be. Um, I look up to both of them tremendously. Um, and, and them as well as both of my parents have had a, a huge impact on my career. Um, from a support side. And then also, I mean, you know, I remember, remember hitting with my middle brother and, um, my my oldest brother hit me ground balls in the backyard. Um, my mom throwing me high pops when I was six years old, and then my dad was my coach all the way through through little league. So I mean, I, I you know really everybody in my family played a huge role in, in where I've been to now, and uh, you know I'm I'm thankful to be still in the area and be able to to be in touch with them. That's awesome. Now that you have two boys of your own, do you see that they'll be be following the the baseball track as well? If, if they want to, if, if they enjoy it, I mean, I, I think so far they do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not going to force them to play it, but uh, it, they will be around it hopefully for quite some time. So, you know, I, I have an inkling that they're going to grow up enjoying baseball. But, you know, if, if they want to do another sport or no sports at all, I'd be fine with that. I, I, I want to encourage them in, in whatever it is they want to be doing. Well, that, it sounds like they've got a good family of coaches yeah, at the very least. If that's, that's the path <laughs> that they so, like so. Yeah. Let's talk about COVID-19 because it, it's interesting. All the different guests that we've had on here before have all been affected by this in a different way. Obviously, the entire world has. But for you specifically, how has that affected you? How has that affected your family? How has it affected what it is that you do? Yeah, I mean, it's it's affected us um, on, on a lot of levels, actually. Um, you know, at, at first, um, it was more of just an inconvenience than anything. Thankfully, um, health-wise, everybody has you know, and my immediate family has been, been fine from it. Uh, my, my wife had it. Um, somehow I didn't get it. Um, that's another story. But um, so we actually, um, when we were due with our first son, Luke, we went down to Florida uh, a couple of weeks early to have the, to have him there. And um, so we, we had him down in Florida and then like a couple of weeks right after that, um, everything kind of shut down there. So, we went down there, had a baby, started spring training, and then came back up to Pennsylvania. So it was a, it was a unique situation that you know that that COVID definitely affected us. Um, 
but uh, and and then obviously throughout the season it was it was a bit odd too. Um, towards the playoffs, uh, towards the end of the season and into the playoffs, we were, you know, completely isolated in in our own bubble. Um, we weren't really allowed um, in or out. But thankfully, we were very well taken care of. And I, I think you know, in terms of um, the world and and the United States, and in terms of how everybody else has been affected, ours has been thankfully very minimal. Um, and like I said before, more, more of just an inconvenience than. Um, you know, then the heartbreak and the and the, the loss of life that so many people have experienced. <clears throat> it's crazy to see how everybody has adapted, and including sports too, have, have done you know isolations or have done certain things to be able to take those precautions to be able to make that all still happen. Do you have any sense of when you're when you're playing? I mean, people are what you're doing is you know besides the whole competition, people getting into it all. It's like an escape for so many, and and that's needed so much. When you go out there and you go to a game, I mean, what's running through your head? I'm sure there's a lot of different things, but are you thinking of the people that are back home that are escaping from their everyday life to, to sit down and relax and watch the baseball game? Yeah, it, it did seem like a kind of just like a breath of fresh air the first couple of games that we were able to play, even though it was in front of no fans, which was definitely bizarre and a, a change of pace for, for what we're used to. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seemed like this year more than, more than others, uh, and I'm sure playing in the World Series uh, – you know, played into this, but uh, just heard from so many people, heard from people that I hadn't heard from in years, just checking in, say, hey, like we, we really enjoyed watching the Rays this year, which was which was fun because, you know, we're not a we're not a huge market team. And, um, you know, to kind of go up there in the playoffs against two of the well, either favorite or least favorite teams in America, however you want to look at it, against the Yankees and the Astros. Um, you know, it, it was just fun to be in that spotlight um, and, and kind of get to share that with um, my teammates. But also just it seemed like everybody from back home was just kind of pulling and a lot of people were watching and I was getting messages. And, you know, so uh, so, yeah, it, it was really fun. And I know people were kind of just looking for something uh, a little different, I think, uh, thankfully sports was able to provide that in, in some fashion. I know for me, when we started watching football, I was like, ah, this is, this is really nice to, you know, watch something uh, a little yeah. bit different. Not, not watch the news is, is sometimes a good thing to do. What, yeah. you know, you, you obviously are in, in the unique position where you get to play against teams. And I'm going to assume you get to play against some of your sports heroes. Who, who are those sports heroes? And what is it like when, when you go out, you step onto the field and it's like, Oh my God, they're there. This is this is real. What's yeah, that moment like? I grew up. Uh, I grew up a Phillies fan, so um, those are the ones that really take me back a little bit. I mean, I faced um, I faced Cole Hamels back in I think it was 2017 or, or 16, and then um, playing against uh, Chase Utley was always one. I, I mean, it was just a spring training game, but even uh, against the Dodgers in the World Series, he's one of their coaches. Uh, I was joking to the guys. I was like, "That's the only guy I'm nervous to play in front of," um, but. Uh, but yeah, for me, it really strikes home, uh, you know, like just like when it's those Phillies players, um, you know, those other guys are, there's so many incredible players. I mean, Mike Trout, Albert Pujols, and, and you know, there's there's certainly like an aura around them. But uh, for me, it was really those Phillies players and particularly uh, Chase Utley and then just Cole Hamels. I mean, just watching him pitch for so many years and then getting the opportunity to play against him was just, was pretty cool. Well, and I that you know, you growing up in this area and going to those Phillies games, there's people that are growing up and there's kids that are growing up going to games and seeing you and, and you are you know, their inspiration and, and someone that they look up to. Does that feel like a lot of weight on your shoulders or does that excite you that you have to have that that unique platform? Um, you know what? I, I don't I don't really feel that weight. Um, you know, I, I'm thankful that I, that I have that platform um, to, you know, to share that you know, playing baseball is something is something that I do. And that's what a lot of people know me by. But it's not it's not who I am. I mean, you know, I, I, I am so many things to so many people. And first and foremost, you know, a follower of Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, that 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 faith in 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 Jesus Christ is something that um, kind of roots me and keeps me grounded through throughout the whole season. And then the support of my family, you know, things things that I know aren't going to change. Um, those are the things that, that really like define me who I am as a person. Um, so I'm thankful for the, for the stage and the platform that I get so that I can, that I can share that. And I can share those things about myself, not necessarily who I am as a baseball player. Um, I hope who I am as a baseball player reflects those things. Um, but you know, I, I, I enjoy, um, when, 
you know, young fans come up to me and, and, you know, ask to, to meet me or a signature or an autograph or something like that. To me, that's not like an added pressure. That's a, that's a fun part of my job. That's awesome. When, um, when you first got into it all, what was the most surprising thing when, when you first went pro, what to you was the, the biggest surprise of it all? The, the first thing that I remember, I mean, I was like fresh out of college. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't even like really understand fully understand the the minor league system i was in short season single a which is you know not not like the lowest but it's it's pretty low and um i remember i got to the clubhouse and it seemed like 60 percent of the people in the bit of a culture shock for me and uh you know, I picked up a little bit of Spanish and I uh, was able to kind of uh, remember some that I had learned in high school. But, you know, that was like the initial part of it that I remember thinking to myself, this this is not exactly what I was what I was picturing. Um, but I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to, to you know, to play with so many of those uh, good young line players. And, you know, some of them are, are, are still friendly today with, um, you know, from what we can communicate with each other. But, yeah, that was like the initial shock of like, OK, like you're playing with you're playing with grown men now. This isn't this isn't college anymore. Yeah, this is this is the real deal now. Now you're into yeah. it. What uh, what has been your best moment? What do you think your best moment in your career so far has been? Um, sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Um, oh, oh, I am here. Sorry. There you go. This is the this is the work from home aspect that everybody everybody deals with. It's all right. Can you hear yeah. me now? I can hear you now. Yes, yes. Um, all right. Sorry. Yeah. So what what has been the biggest um. What has been the biggest moment for you? When you take a look at your whole career so far, what for you is like that pivotal moment, the biggest thing? Yeah, for me, it's so hard to just it's so hard to just pinpoint one. I, I mean, um, I would say in general, as a general term, it's it's those like those team moments that we have. I mean, in 2012, um, winning the the College World Series with that group of guys, with that um, with that team who was so close and then still is so close. So much of us, uh, you know, so many of us just stay in contact. Um, yeah. To me. In college, that was just like, you know, that was the perfect way to end it. Um, just such a special group, such a special year. So I, I think that's definitely one of my top baseball moments with without a doubt. Um, and then also last year, I mean, um, playing in the World Series, it's, you know, that, that's something that like you, you like – think that you dream about in the yard as a kid but until you're really there it's uh you know it's just an incredible experience and one that uh you know that that will certainly go right next to to win in the national championship at westchester um definitely some special moments i mean uh getting called up to the major leagues for my first time getting drafted those are those are all fun but for me like the the team one something that you get to share with so many people around you are the ones that really stick out for me Joey, how does it change when that team? You talk about the closeness of you know, the the guys that are in college versus the closeness of that team that's in the professional level. Do you see that that's exactly the same? Is it or does it change? Is it are you closer to guys in the college level, the high school level, um, than you are in the professional standpoint? Or is that something that really you've been in baseball your entire life? Does that carry on? Does that team aspect carry on everywhere that you go? Yeah, there, there are definitely certainly aspects of it that do. I mean, you know, our race team this year, like we, we all got along like really well. And that's that's cliche. But but we did um, in the clubhouse, off the field. Um, you know, we we share so many great moments together, um, especially this year. Actually, uh, we're all forced to stay in the in the hotels when we went on the road. Um, but we had a little area where we were, were allowed to congregate and, um, you know, just spending time with those guys was, was a lot of fun. I, I think it's, it's a little bit different. Um, so many guys at the professional level have, have families, they're older, we live in different parts of the country. So I don't know, um, you know, that, that the friendships, um, I mean, they, they certainly will last and they will, um, you know, be a special part of my life, but it's just, it's just different. We're in different chapters of life. And, and, you know, I think of it from college. I mean, we hung out with those guys year round. Um, it, it was just a little bit of a different camaraderie, but, but both uh, great in their own respects. So talking about the you know, hanging around year round at, at Westchester, we're going to go into to a little game here. It's called this or that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and bring up a couple things to get to know you a little bit better. Um, and the first one that we're going to ask here is books or TV, which is the one that you go with. You have to choose. Ooh, I'll say books, but I, you know, in reality, probably TV. So, so yeah. We'll, what, we'll what, 
we'll say books, but you know, wink, wink. <laughs> Cake or pie? Which one do you choose there? Pie, pie, apple pie. I was gonna ask you answer the follow up as to which specific is it gonna be? Yeah, yeah. I mean apple. Yeah. Do no you question. call? Or do you text somebody? What's the what's the go to? Uh, depends on how long the text is. I mean. You know, if it's going to be more, if I'm going to be sitting there for more than a minute, it's going to be a call. If, if it's just it's a, a text call. and I got kids sleeping, then it's going to be a text. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So situationally, it, it, it depends yeah. on the situation. For a call though. Now you were not around with the rat because you graduated in 2012, but let's say Jake's bar killed airs. Which one would you go to? Oh, probably killed airs. I wasn't a big fan of the smoke at Jake's, but I, I but um, yeah. Really neither. Well, <laughs> well, which one? Which which bar in Westchester would you choose? If you had uh, to pinpoint, where would you be? I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe like Barnaby's before like a certain time. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't. I don't really have like a go-to. I wouldn't say. Got it. <laughs> Just Westchester with with your friends. Uh, yeah. This one not relevant. Old Main or New Main? You you also would not have known Old Main. So this one doesn't doesn't I, I think apply to you. But let's let's change it to. What is your favorite favorite building on campus? Where where would you spend a lot of your time, or which one when you think of Westchester sticks out to you? I mean, the little tiny little baseball clubhouse that we have there. Uh, I mean, I had to take a lot of classes down at South Campus, so um, I would just kind of hang out there in between classes. Okay. Were you? Did you live off campus or on campus when you were at Westchester? Uh, I was on campus at Wayne Hall my freshman year and then uh, off campus. Uh, I was on New Street for my junior and senior years, just both ends of it. So that was fun. Quite the, quite the trip down to South Campus that you had to make. Yeah, well, not my my senior year. We were like, we were almost at South Campus. So. Oh, okay. oh okay. New Street just does go all the way down that way. Uh, how about Wawa or 7-Eleven? Which one do you go with? I mean, come on. That's, that's easy. Wawa. I assume that was the answer you're going to go with there. Amores or Rigtown? What's the choice? Rigtown. Rigtown. A lot of people pick Rigtown. Beach or pool? Which one do you pick? Beach or pool? I'll go to the beach. Beach over the pool. And then uh, beer or wine? Which one is your go-to? Uh, I prefer beer to wine. There you go. That's this or that. So we got to know Joey a little bit better uh, throughout all of that. And uh, we're going to have to update some of the questions here for our for more recent alumni, so that when they they are not reflective <laughs> of like Maine or the Rat, um, I want to end here with you about you know anybody that's watching that may be in a similar position to where you were you're in college, or maybe they're deciding as to where it is that they want to go. What advice would you give to that student who wants to make baseball or really any other professional sport? Uh, they want to make that their career. What advice would you give to that person who's at a point where they're trying to decide as to where it is that they, they want to go? Yeah, well, first I'd say go to Westchester. That would be the obvious one there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, for somebody who wants to pursue pursue baseball or pursue a professional sport, I mean, to, to me the most important thing was going to, to Westchester and getting the opportunity to play. Um, you know, I wasn't thinking along the lines of being a Major League Baseball player when I was a senior in high school. Um, I wasn't that big. I wasn't that gifted. I wasn't that talented. I was able to – to, to go and play and get the opportunity to continue to develop my skills at Westchester. I think so many people are uh, kind of hung up on the division one, division two, II, division three, whatever it may be, trying to play at the absolute highest level that they can. But I think it's more valuable to go somewhere and just play than it is to, to necessarily go to that, the highest level and, and sit. So I would just say, um, yeah, that, that to, to make the most of that opportunity that you get by, by being able to play and make sure that you're not, you know, sit in the bench or in a, in a reserve role um, when you could be playing at another school. Or you know, so. That's great advice. And, I, you know, it made me prompt a, a second question here is to, you, you said that you weren't thinking your senior year of, uh, of high school that you were going to go play professional baseball. But at what point did you think that? At what point did, did you say to yourself, wait a minute, I think I can do that? Um, yeah, I think it became a reality um, the, the summer of my junior year. Uh, I went and played college summer league uh, in Edenton, North Carolina, which is, uh, which is significant to me. That's where I met my wife. Um, so um, I had a really good summer there, played very well, um, 
and I, I think maybe that was where I got got put on the map a little bit. Um, scouts started to to follow me, and then uh, thankfully I was able to you know continue to play well through my senior year at, at Westchester, and I think uh, things started to pick up. Um, you know, hearing from a couple more teams, and then towards towards the draft, it was um, a, a lot more. So I, I knew that at that point it was going to be a reality to to play professionally. Um, but then when I got put in uh, short season single A, which is where everybody goes who just gets drafted out of college. And I realized that there was like levels to go up before I got to the majors. It was, uh, it was certainly daunting, but I think uh, for me, just, just taking it one step at a time and keeping my goals very, um, you know, focused on what I was doing that day, not necessarily worrying about uh, becoming a major league player that day, but becoming a little bit better so that I was more prepared to, you know, to get there at some point in my career. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to, to join us here on Ramblings Live. I want to end here with some comments uh, from our Facebook uh, family that's joining in here. Sarah saying thanks for making Ram alums proud. Wes joining in saying good luck this year, Joey. And Craig saying hi, Joey. You had a great season. So we want to thank everybody for chiming in and uh, and hanging out with us, and especially you, Joey, for taking time out of your day. Uh, to come and, and, and join us here on Ramblings Live. And I'd say don't be a stranger to Westchester, but it sounds like you aren't. It sounds like you're just right down the road. So I'm sure I'm sure you go by and drive through every now and then. We, we certainly do, yep. All right, Joey, well, you enjoy the rest of your, your day, and good luck this season, and thanks for taking time to join us. All right, thanks for having me on. Talk to you soon. That is Joey Wendell. I want to thank all of you for joining on and hanging out with us here on Ramblings Live. We're going to be back again in about two weeks from now uh, with another edition of this and a lot of really great guests lined up uh, for the next couple of months. So make sure that you uh, check in on our Facebook page to see what it is and who it is that's coming up here next. Until next time, I'm Justin Sachoka. Thanks for joining us here on Ramblings Live.